So I previously said um, and explained why we need to do a uh, specific calibration for different alloys uh, because the UCI ultrasonic contact impedance test method is uh, very much dependent on the elastic modulus of the material you're testing. So a uh, question comes up, how do we do that? Well, we just simply grab a, uh, a piece or a sample of that alloy that we need to test. Um, just has to meet the minimum specifications for uh, the test standard. So just for some examples, right? We can use this, absolutely. Get the great surface preparation and we make our reference indentation on that area. We then test it with the UCI to see what that results are and then we create our uh, calibration for that special alloy. I'll tell you more about that in a future video. So yeah, just some other pieces. No specific size or shape, it just has to be thick enough. That's thick enough. This tube section, thick enough, big enough. This hook, thick enough, big enough. This bar, yes, absolutely. This plate. Now this plate is where we get into questions because it's thinner than 15 millimeters and you see STM A1038 says once we get thinner than 15 millimeters we need to take caution, maybe use a coupling method like we used with Lieb and I've outlined in a previous video, use the coupling method so that uh, the vibrations aren't trapped in the piece and they can go through and, and you don't get sympathetic vibrations that affect your test result. So yes, absolutely with coupling method. This thin piece, absolutely with coupling method because again, it's thicker than the absolute minimum of ASTM A1038, which is two to three millimeters. So this piece, no, can't use this piece. Even with the coupling methods, too thin. So. Um, Next up, we'll uh, show you how to do it uh, using a, a specific instrument and uh, give a good example.